Hey everyone and welcome back. So doing a news video uh, today because we definitely got uh, several announcements. Um, some stuff that is uh, on the works for next year. Uh, actually, I think most of this is actually on the works for next year. But some of these I don't have details for just yet because they are sort of early announcements. And then I think two of these are technically rumored, uh, but I'm pretty much they're coming. So anyway, let me just jump right into it. So first up, uh, Warner Brothers is uh has stuff in the works for next year no details just yet but the first one is a superman five film collection uh 4k set so i assume it's going to be semi so i assume anyway it's going to be semi similar to their blu-ray set um i'm hoping that it's going to have both cuts of uh superman and superman 2 in 4k that's what i'm hoping obviously they've already released superman 1 the theatrical version of it in 4k hopefully they'll also release sort of extended cut as well and obviously superman 2 you know hopefully both cuts get uh, the 4k treatment as well again no details on that just yet but that is in the works for next year so the next two i believe are celebrating uh their anniversaries next year so first up is a 4k release of the uh bruce lee film enter the dragon that is getting a 4k release again next year don't know details just yet but that is in the works and then finally i think i did mention this before but definitely next year we will be getting a 4k release of the exorcist and uh, i would assume it's probably gonna have both cuts i'd be i'd be i'd be more surprised if it didn't now that one actually was uh announced early obviously i don't have details just yet but i did just wanted to include that one sort of in the mix because it's definitely one i'm super excited about and we got some more 4k stuff coming so first up from mvd is a 4K release of Swamp Thing, the original Swamp Thing, uh, the Wes Craven film. And that is estimated for, or actually no, I don't have a release date just yet. It's just due out for next year. But they did announce that it is going to have both cuts of the film, the uh, US PG cut as well as the international unrated cut, uh, which pretty much I believe the only difference is there is a uh, boob shot uh, in it, but it's of Adrian Barbeau. So definitely the international cut for most of us is definitely the one we want. And when details are announced, I will definitely cover that. I'm, I'm hoping it'll pretty much at the very least have everything that was on the uh, Scream Factory Blu-ray. That's what I'm hoping as far as extras go. And if that wasn't enough Swamp Thing, uh, coming from Lightyear Entertainment, which I believe they're also associated with MVD as well, but it is a 4K release of The Return of Swamp Thing, the Jim Wynorski film. And that is due out February 7th. Now that one they did release the details for. So is it going to have a brand new 4K restoration of the film? It's going to be in Dolby Vision and HDR. Now it looks like it ports over everything from the previous blu-ray release uh some of this may even go back to a dvd release actually but it does have two new things on it including a reflection on swamp thing 35 years later an interview with producer michael e uslan hope i'm pronouncing that right me and my names a riff tracks music video for your ever loving swamp thing by the riff tones and then the rest it does port over from uh, the previous release including a commentary track with director jim wynorski composer chuck serino and editor leslie rosenthal and then another commentary track with director Jim Wynorski uh, from 2003. So I assume that must have been on a DVD, I guess. As well as interviews with Jim Wynorski, editor Leslie Rosenthal, composer Chuck Serino, and Lightyear Entertainment executive Arnie Holland. As well as the original theatrical trailer, six promotional TV clips, two TV spots, two Greenpeace public service announcements. Okay. <laughs> A 1989 promo reel, a photo gallery, and it's going to have two audio tracks, a uh, DTS 5.1 surround track, and as well as an English uh, 2.0 stereo track. So I'm assuming the stereo track is probably the original theatrical mix, which again, I'm glad it's included. And that is due out February 7th. Now these next three titles, um, I don't have any details on it. Right now, I'm just going to list them as rumor, um, although I'm almost positive these are, well, two of them for sure are coming. I'm just waiting on sort of the official announcement. Uh, so these next two are actually Paramount titles. Now what I don't know exactly at the moment is whether or not is Paramount putting these out um, or is a third party putting them out? Like, you know, Kino, for example, because I know they have a, a relationship with them. Or actually, you know what? Could even be Shout Factor, actually. But we're getting a 4K release of Dragon Slayer next year, which is long over. We haven't even gotten a Blu-ray release, I don't believe. So, like, that's long overdue. So that is definitely in the works, as well as a 4K release of Bringing Out the Dead, the Martin Scorsese film starring Nicolas Cage, which is a very underrated Scorsese film. So happy that is finally getting a proper release. Again, just waiting on uh, who's putting these these out i just don't know they are paramount films but again i don't know if it's paramount putting them out kino 
possibly Shout Factory, don't know, but definitely I'll keep you guys updated on that. And this is big rumor, it was mentioned in an interview, but honestly he's said stuff like this before, but James Cameron did actually say that I, uh, The Abyss is coming next March, I believe, in 4K. Now whether or not, or actually I should say 4K restoration has been done, I believe, I assume a 4K release. Um, but we've heard, oh God, I've heard about The Abyss for so long now, you know, because we never got it on Blu-ray. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm Fingers crossed it's coming next year, finally. So, and I assume it would have both cuts of the film. So, who knows? And then I'm gonna, I'll have my fingers crossed and let's just hope that this time he really means it. And then hopefully, you know, if that is the case, hopefully True Lies is coming as well. And Screen Factory has two more site exclusives uh, up. Actually, they're up right now uh so you i think you can order them right now i think the release date technically the 20th but i think you order it now basically ships out any day now uh limited to 1500 they're both uh don the dragon wilson films first up is the movie blood fist and that has uh the trailer basically now it is region a locked so just be mindful of that and then the other film which i believe is also a don the dragon wilson film and that is the movie black belt and that is uh, region A locked as well. And it also just only has the trailer. And both of these are limited to 1500 and uh, are only sold through the Shout Factory website. So I, um, unfortunately, those of you outside of the US, unfortunately, um, you're gonna find another way to get them. They do retail for $29.98 each. And then finally, we do have the full uh, announcement for the 4K release of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, at least here in the States. Um, coming from uh, MPI and Dark Sky. Uh, so it is slated for February 7th. As I mentioned before, Second Sight, of course, is uh, working on a 4K release in the UK. Now, as far as I know, uh, this is, I think the two releases are pretty much going to be identical. I believe they're both kind of working uh, together on this release. So it's just, you know, if you're in the UK, you're going to get the Second Sight one uh, in the US, most likely the Dark Sky one. Although we'll be keeping an eye out for the Second Sight packaging. If they have actually a cool, like, package deluxe set, yeah, I'll probably go for that. But as far as I can tell, uh, this ports over all of the extras that were on the previous Blu-ray release for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Lead all the commentary tracks, all the interviews, and everything. Even um, what's the name of it again? Uh, the Shocking Truth, right? Sorry, I gotta look it up. Yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre: The Shocking Truth. Even that's on there. But it does actually have two new extras, which is cool. First one is the documentary, The Legacy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I believe that, and that, that is a full length documentary. So that's cool. And it has an interview, which uh, looks like it's really cool. The Cine Family presents Freakin' Hooper, a conversation about the film between Toby Hooper and director William Friedkin. I'm actually really excited to see that. I don't know if that's been uh, released before or not, but that's something, I mean, Obviously, Toby Hooper passed away several years ago, so I assume it's probably been out there, but I haven't seen it, so looking forward to checking that out. Uh, I love The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's one of my favorite horror films of all time. I've been waiting for this release. You know, I do have that 4K release that was done in, like, um, Germany or something, which, you know, it's okay. Use a kind of an older 4K master, but luckily this new one should look phenomenal. I hope, I hope, you know, fingers crossed. It should, I think it will. And I love that it is porting over all the extras. So um, now I'm kind of confused on the packaging. I don't know if there's two different versions or what. It looks like there's a steel book. No, maybe, I don't know. Almost looks like there's also a standard release. So I don't, I'm kind of confused at the moment whether or not, I, it looks like there's a standard release and a steel book. So I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on right now. Uh, but it is up for pre-order right now. And I I will have a pre-order link in the description below. Obviously, anytime I put a link in the description below, um, you know, it does help me out a little bit because if you order, uh, if you go through any of my links to Amazon, obviously that, you know, I get a very, 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 very tiny, I don't get much, but you know, it does help on some level. So, uh, you know, and then finally the big one, at least for me anyway, is coming March of uh, well, coming in March um, is the 4K release of City of the Living Dead, aka The Gates of Hell, the Lucio Fulci film coming from uh, Cauldron Films. Uh, so they release all the details and it is also up for pre-order right now at both cauldronfilms.com as well as diabolicdvd.com. Highly recommend going over. I believe it's limited. I mean, I think there will be a standard release down the line, uh, but if you are interested, I believe this version is limited 
to, I think, 3,000 units. And it is a deluxe set. Retails for $59.99. It's on sale for $49.99, I believe, on both sites. And it is a four-disc set. So the first disc is uh, the 4K disc. And it has, of course, a brand new 4K restoration that was done for the film in Dolby Vision HDR. And it will have both the original English mono uh, track as well as the original Italian mono track. So I'm so happy it does have both. It has a seam seamless branching uh, credit sequence, which is cool. Watch in English language with English credit sequence sequences and watch uh, the Italian language with Italian credit sequences. So that's kind of cool. Has a new audio commentary with film historian Sam Dehan. Dehan? I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. An archival commentary track with historians Troy Howarth and Nathaniel Thompson. A commentary with actress Katrina McCall, moderated by Jay Slater. Commentary track with actor Giovanni Lombardo Rudis, moderated by Calum Waddell, and has a Blu-ray which has the new restoration on it as well. I believe it's actually, it looks pretty much the same. I think it's the same as the 4K disc, just on Blu-ray. Now the Blu-ray is region A locked though, so uh, do me do be mindful of that. And then the third disc, uh, which is an all region Blu-ray, which has a bunch of the extras on it. Thank you for making that all region. Has a bunch of stuff on it, including Zombie King's interview with Massimo and Tonello Galang. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh man. Requiem for Bob, interview with Giovanni Lombardo Radis. On stage Q&A with Venantino Venantini and Ruggiero Diodato. An interview with Katrina McCall. Uh, Fabio Frizi Q&A, obviously do the music. The Meat Munching Movies of Gino De Rossi. Carlo of the Living Dead, an archival interview with actor Carlo De Mijo. A trip through Bonaventure Cemetery. Katrina McCall video intro from 2001, an image gallery. Plus more archival extras uh, and everything which are not listed here, but I assume it's stuff from uh, previous releases. And then disc four has the CD soundtrack. And it says here, the CD soundtrack in separate custom size wallet packaging with emboss and gloss effects. Collector's note, packaging is approximately the same size as a Blu-ray case. It's in limited edition only. So, all right, so they say limited edition, so I assume there will be a standard release down the line, which is good. So for those of you who don't need all the extra, you know, bits and pieces and stuff, and maybe want to get a little bit cheaper, just, you just have to hold out a couple more months. But the limited edition does come with a reversible wrap with alternate artwork, a sticker sheet, folded poster, double-sided poster for your new and vintage artwork, high quality slip case with emboss and gloss effects. Uh, again, it's limited to 3000. And oh, it says literally says right here, there will be a standard edition to follow in 2023. Okay, so maybe I should have read to the bottom first. And you know, geez, thank you. You know, you think I would have learned that in grade school, but nope, <laughs> I guess not. So the limited edition uh, is up for pre-order right now. Again, on uh, Cauldron Films and Diabolic DVD. Uh, now, the, this limited edition, of course, like I said, is limited to 3,000 units. Uh, it is estimated to start shipping in March, um, but there will be obviously a standard release coming as well. And I assume the standard, like the limited edition may, may, like you may only be able to get it actually from these two websites. I'm not 100% sure, but that could be the case. But the standard release, I assume you could probably get anywhere if you want to wait for that. So I am super excited about this release. I've kind of mentioned before how much um, City of Living Dead, aka The Gates of Hell, which I still think is a fantastic title, uh, is a kind of a big deal, you know, because it's like it was an early Lucha Full Sheet film uh, for me that I saw as a kid, and I was always fascinated by that VHS cover. You know, long before I was, you know, I was way too young to rent it, but I was always like fascinate. I was always fascinated by that VHS cover. It was like, God, what is that film about? You know, so I definitely have my pre-order in. I can't wait to get this. And obviously, that is definitely one I will be doing a review on when that comes in. So that's it for this news uh, update. I know there's more stuff I need to get to, but I definitely wanted to cover some of these things. So if you have any questions on anything, let me know. I will try and answer them as best I can. And definitely let me know your thoughts on a lot of these announcements. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see See you on the next one.